run this through your mind. What is effective listening? Listening is important. Listening takes more time than any other activity you do. Learning to be an effective listener takes skill and can be difficult. I want to thank you for coming to hear my speech and listening communication. Becoming an effective listener can be difficult. It takes listening skills to be successful. The skills to help become a better listener are attending, following, and reflecting skills. These, these three simple skills give us the information, give us the, give us the foundation to listen to others. However, poor listening is, on the other hand, of the scale for effective listening. Poor listening can be caused by an overload of too much information and also noise. These are a few points that can cause listening to be difficult and become barriers in communication. If you listen close, you may learn something as I discuss the importance of listening and communication. Effective listening, or an effective listener, takes skill. Barbara Bolton, the author of People Skills, says that skills that give a foundation to listen to others are attending, following, and reflecting. Focusing on one, focusing on one of these skills helps people to learn more effectively. Bolton says attending is giving your physical attention to another person. He refers to listening as listening with the whole body. Bolton says attending is a nonverbal communication that shows you're paying a careful attention to the person who is talking. Attending skills include a posture of involvement, appropriate body motion, and eye contact, and a non-distracting environment. Now for following skills. Following skills is the task of, of the listener to stay out of the other way, other's way, so the listener can discover how the speaker views the situation. For example, the average listener interprets and diverts the speaker by asking many questions or making many statements. It is common for the listener to talk too much and detour the conversation. Following skills include door openers or nonverbal clues or minimal encouragement, courage, such as letting the person know as you are listening by stating a brief response on as such as go on or tell me more. And open questions can provide the speaker to explore his thought for it. For instance, what is on your mind? And the intended silence which a listener needs to value silence is freeing the speaker to think, to think, feel, and express himself. Last but not least, reflecting skills involves good listening and an ability to respond reflectively. With this, the listener restates the feeling of what the speaker has said and shows understanding as well. Listening not is, is not impossible, but it is difficult. Listening takes up more of our time, of hours awake than any other activity we do. The definition of listening, according to dictionary.com, says it is to give attention with ear, attend closely for the purpose of hearing. And give ear. Listening and hearing go hand in hand. You may hear some someone say something, but you did not listen because you did not understand what the speaker said. Hearing is an auditorial cessation that is received by ears and sent to the brain. Listening refers to more difficult tasks, which is interpreting and understanding the speaker's message. Unfortunately, most people are not good listeners. So what can make listening difficult, or what can be some barriers to cause listening to be poor? Poor listening is on the other end of the scale of effective listening, or good listening. SkillsUnique.com states that listening is key to all effective communication. Without the ability to listen effectively, messages are easily misunderstood. Communication breaks down, and the sender of the message can easily become frustrated or irritated. Poor listening can be caused by an overload of too much information, as a good listener responds to what you are saying. But a poor listener can be recognized by the body language, showing they, showing they are not paying attention. However, the speaker may give an overload of information that the hearer may not be able to comprehend. The amount of information may become a barrier, causing listening to be difficult. Poor listening can be caused by distraction, such as surrounding noises. Removing distractions can be a start to better communication, such as, such as turning off the TV, 
radio or, or removing any other noise that would create tension in the environment that would cause hearing and listening to be difficult and become a barrier as, a, as well. Undivided attention is extremely important when listening. It is important to the speaker as well that we show we, are, we care by hearing them out. So as I conclude, I have, read, I have shared with you about the importance of effectiveness of an effective listener. The skills and the difficulties involved in listening and the barriers of poor listening such as an overload, too much information, or distractions. Listening is not impossible, but it takes a trained ear to hear those who are speaking to us. Listening does take time. However, it is imperative to hear properly to eliminate miscommunication. Communication will be an action we will perform the rest of our life. So let's start listening and hearing and effectively for better communication. Thank you. Thank you.